But, hi, my name's Daniel, uh, welcome to uh, another episode of Daniel12321, where uh, I sit here and I talk about my life. Uh, hopefully that will help you better yourself in your life. Maybe, maybe together we can just make it through this, this voyage together. Please allow me to introduce myself, I'm a man. I really enjoyed doing this, sitting in my closet, telling you a story. I've always liked IHOP. I, I, I go there quite often. But this this experience that I had, it, it, uh, it kind of changed my thoughts on IHOP. There's this thing called ACTF in the theater department. They take their plays and stuff, and they... they go to judges and they get them judged and, you know, win and all in the the whole contest. I, one of the nights after ACTF is up, we, me and a few other people, we decide, you know, we're going to go to IHOP. So me, this guy named Chase, David, Troy, Deanna, we all go to IHOP. We are sitting next to the exit, uh, the fire exit door. This is crucial for the story. I'm sitting against the wall, Troy's next to me. And against Troy is the fire exit door. Our waiter comes up. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a high hop. Uh, what can I get you to drink? Got a lot of Coca Cola. Deanna's like, I'll have a Sprite. Troy's like, I'll have a Dr. Pepper. David's like, I'll have a Dr. Pepper. No eyes. And Chase gets whatever he wants. We're all sitting there talking, chit chatting. Waiter comes back. Hey, there you go. Here's a drink. Here's a Coke. Here's a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. No eyes. Whatever Chase got. There you go. Chase's phone is on the table next to Chase. Waiter. Standing next to it. Since I don't know, I don't really know these people that well yet, I practically assume all things are pretty normal that happens around them. Waiter picks up Chase's phone. Just starts going through his stuff. I'm just sitting there like, okay, I guess this guy knows Chase. Then the guy's like, oh, that's a funny picture. Starts showing me a picture. I'm like, that is a funny picture. I would laugh at that. Chase. Finishes the conversation with Deanna, looks back. The waiter hands chases his phone and walks off without saying a word. I, I don't know that guy. Well, this just got awkward for everybody. We're, we're gentlemen. We're going to tell the management later. We're not going to complain. We're just going to tell her about what happened. Waiter comes back. What's up, guys? What can I get you to drink? What can I get you for food? We got food. We got waffles. We got waffles. Just acts like nothing happened. You know, he didn't touch that phone. And all of a sudden, I, you know, because I was against the wall. I'm, I'm against the wall. <laughs> and he, he, he knocked focus off of my chicken fried steak to this wall. I'm looking around, I'm like, what, what is this? Is there an earthquake? I'm in the panhandle. How is there an earthquake? What is? <laughs> I look over, and I see Troy, and he's wondering what's going on also. And I, I look over, and <laughs> this, this next, I, <laughs> this is really, um, it's not really, it's, yeah, I, bleh, bleh, bleh. composure, I need composure, I need to be able to tell you, um, how do I say what was happening next to Troy without offending people. How about this? Children, we be gone. Children, we need you to leave the, the the stage area now. Exit stage right. And parents, you better make sure their door is closed because I, I remember plenty of time whenever I was a child and I cracked the door open and I heard naughty things. So you better make sure that door is closed before I say what is coming out of my mouth next. Okay? Okay, so be gone. We're, and I'm going to give you a little time. I'm going to wait. We're going to... You don't think I'll do... Well, that door, it better be shut. Shut, okay, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I look over and the waiter has found a, 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 an attraction, apparently, to the exit door. Because he, uh, he starts humping the exit door. I'm not talking about, you know, just like, you know, light, you know, he's lightly doing his business. <laughs> Business. <laughs> you know, this guy is like full on raging on this door. He's humping the door, the the exit door. I felt violated, and I was I was um, I was felt violated that I was on the same wall. After like 
12 humps of our group just staring at this gentleman humping the door. He walks off. Doesn't, doesn't say a word. Doesn't even act like it happened. We are going to tell management about this because I don't know. I don't know. Because I guess that's what you do when weird things happen at IHOP. Waiter comes back. He's giving us our ticket. Can I see a manager? Did I do something wrong? Damn, that was, that was gross. Did I do something wrong? Uh, no. Can I see a manager? Yeah, I'll get you a manager. But first, let me tell you a story about this girl that came in here last night. I met her, I got her number, and we're in love now. We love each other. In fact, I'm gonna go see her. She lives in Alaska. I'm gonna go see her tomorrow. We're gonna get married. <laughs> you, I'm not kidding. I don't know what was going through this guy's head, but I was just like, I don't care about your love life, get us a manager. Manager comes up. Hey, what's going on? Did you have a nice meal? Did you have a nice drink? Okay, that's good. We enjoy your company. Okay, here's what happened. Round one. He, uh, he took my phone, started looking through it. Round two. He, uh, found a nice attraction to that door over there, started humping the crap out of it. Round three. He told us about his love life for no reason. I don't care about his man's love life. I, I, I can, I don't care about his love life. That's interesting. You think? Okay, well, uh, we've gotten these complaints before. What? What? You, you, what? You, what do you mean before? This has happened in previous nights? <laughs> what? Yes, yeah, so we will, we will, we'll talk to him. We'll, We'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Bull! Bull honky! I want to make sure this guy is locked up forever! Well, not maybe locked up. I mean, I'm sure he's a nice gentleman, but he probably shouldn't be a waiter if he's humping doors. I wish I would have said all of that. We'll, we'll talk to him. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, they'll talk to him. They'll talk. Everything's gonna be okay. They'll talk to him. So it'll be okay. We'll just, we'll just let him talk to him. And it'll be okay. That is not the end of the story, unfortunately. Deanna, the girl that was with us, needs a job. And she comes across the IHOP. Her mind, they talked to him, they fired him. There's no worries. Guess who's still working at this IHOP? Mr. Cellphone Hump Boy. Mr. Cellphone Hump Boy? You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? No. I, I get that a lot. I do. Please walk away from me right now. Did you just say please walk away from me? No, I, you know, just go away. Did you just tell me to go? No, this can't be any more awkward. You know what the guy ended up getting fired for? Apparently, he got fired for being late to work too many times. I'm not bashing on IHOP. I'm bashing on that IHOP, because I still love IHOP. I... I enjoy, I, I enjoy your food. What's going through their head, you know? What's going through their head? What's going through their head?